Good evening, you are watching News Cafe on the Solar News Channel. Sitting in for Jing Magsai Sai, I'm Mitzi Borromeo. Tonight, we are joined by two musicians who have used their music to raise awareness for causes such as nationalism, environmentalism, and cultural pride. He is a singer and songwriter combining ethnic Filipino instruments with modern pop. Tonight, we have Joey Ayala. And he is also a singer and songwriter. <laughs> We have tonight also Noel Cabangon. May buhay. Thank you for being us with us. There are jokers here. I'm na ako. Welcome, Joey and Noel. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What better way to start the year than with music and yes. two great yeah. people. Some wow. of my favorite creatures on the planet. <laughs> creatures on the planet. Yeah. Better than explosives. <laughs> Explosive personalities. Oh, yeah. So we will start with your explosions into okay. this planet. Explode. Your roots. So let's talk about your musical influences. So Noel, let's start with you. Um, alam ko na you were a reluctant musician at, at the very young age they were forcing you to play no? yes, yes. and you didn't want to play in front of the crowd so yeah, may, how did you uh, takot. <laughs> oh takot ka pala no oh, so yeah. may stage fright ka yeah so, yeah and lakas you... actually pero at least na overcome ko yon when i joined the choir when i was in high school choir oh <laughs> nag choir ako eh. pero ang uh, ang music influence ko i i uh, if I'm going to look back, and talaga uh, folk music. Okay. Uh, dahil because uh, yung Rosario kasi where I come from, malapit siya sa Baguio, and then Baguio non uh, has this tradition of folk singing, mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, my neighbors, mga mga <clears throat> mga tambay, mga tumutugtug ng gitara, they jamming, they they're singing folk folk songs, yeah. uh, songs of. Uh, James Taylor, uh, Paul Simon, yeah. uh, Peter Paul and Mary, mga Simon ganun. Garfunkel. Sarah Garfunkel. Yeah. Woodstock. Yeah, Woodstock. Woodstock. Oh, Woodstock. Woodstock. 70s era. actually. Yeah. Don McQueen. Uh, Those were some of the best music. Yes, oh. yes. So, I was really, you know, uh, I think, those are, uh, so you're were self taught. My self taught, yes. You yes. learned on your own, no? Uh oh. Because I was really a lot of guitar in my house. And then, because of the Jingle magazine <laughs> and uh, yung Map Top, yun yung right. parang, uh, parang uh, song hits. No? Song yeah. hits. No, <laughs> they don't have that anymore now. Yes, classic oh, well, yun. Classic. Oh, classic. Oh. Yun talaga. And then, uh, ayun, uh, I was all. Uh, Parang pinapanood ko yung mga, yung mga folk singers. Yeah. And sabi ko, parang gusto ko matutunan yung ginagawa nila. And, uh -oh. and then I learned the, how to play the guitar when I was 10 years old. But before that, yung mga, mga kamag-anak ko, pag nag-jamming sila, kasi may nag-jamming din, ako yung kumakanta. I sing uh, Beatles songs, yeah. mga ganun, etc. Uh -oh. Napakanta nila ako. So you felt it at a very young age, huh? <laughs> but I didn't know that I'm I'm going to be a, a musician. A big star of the today. <laughs> a big, a big star. musician. <laughs> Kayo ni Joey pareho si Joey ganon. But Joey, you were born to a very artistic family. Your father was a painter. Your mother was a poet. Perhaps your sister, right. Cynthia Alexander, mm -hmm. musician and channel. So yun ba yung influence? I mean, is this you grew up in a family of the arts? Oh, natural lang sa amin. We didn't even we didn't even use the word arts. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I was an artist. Mm -hmm. So, yung pagiging musician, hindi ko rin alam na musician ako. In fact, yung conscious na alam ko, writer ako, katulad ng magulang ko. Pero hindi ko alam na musician pala ako, mm -hmm. na gumagawa pala ako ng music. Kasi natural lang siya na It was your world, oo. Oh. Oh. So, sinong influences mo? Would you say you were also attracted to the same music as Noel? Oh, more, more or less. Mas matanda ako ng konti sa kayo, mga 15 mga years. 10 years. Parang magkamba lang kayo. Yung ano, kasi yung, yung may record collection yung magulang ko, not... Hindi siya malaking collection pero broad range of right. classical. Yeah. So you're exposed Apple, to all this music. Ang dami ko na umaga pag gising pa lang meron ng Brahms, may Beethoven. Yeah. Maya-maya ng konti may kumakanta ng Maang, Wani Pulele, Bakit mga Aprikano, ano-ano. So malawak yung conception malawak. ko ng music. 
That's the best. Yan talaga. You really have to have a broad spectrum. Mas may radio pa. Spectrum. Eh, yung mga radio noon, buong album, tinutugtog. Eh. Gusto mo makinig ng white album ng Beatles, mm. punta ka sa Double yeah, B. Yeah. Ayan, may, may mga Chuck Berry Festival, Little Richard Festival. Imagine uh, on the radio. Uh, no, no, right. Iba, iba noon eh. Uh, Tapos yung Midnight, punta ka sa UW, yung mga Midnight. jazz na rock na, <laughs> na weird. Nandun, maririnig mo. Tapos paglipat namin ng Dabao, yung pamilya namin namipit ng Dabao after my high school. Right. Nakaranig ako ng tribal musicians. Mm-hmm. So dahil malabak yung conception ko ng music, na-recognize ko, no, eh, galing nito. Mm-hmm. Bakit wala sa radio to? Mm-hmm. Right in my backyard, it's right in my geography. Bakit? Hindi, A Filipino mamata. sound. Mm-hmm. Hindi nga, doon dun nga nabura yung term na Pilipino sa utak ko. Hindi Pilipino ito. Mas tunay ito kasi yung Pilipino. Mm-hmm. Pure. Kastila na nang sabi niya, Pilipino ta. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. Ito, hindi pa, issues. wala pang Kastila, may ganito na. Yeah. So, authentic <clears throat> Filipino music. Mas malalim pa, parang ganun yung feeling ko. Because mm-hmm. both of you are known to in- include mga ethnic Filipino instruments or sounds and combine them with pop music. Yes, Is that yes. more or less? And mom. And how do you feel about, people often categorize your music as folk, folk music, traditional. How do you feel about that, the genre? Well, I'm, I'm very comfortable with, with that kind of genre. Kasi yun yung pinanggalingan ko talaga. Oh, oh. And yun yung influence ko. Pero going back, parang maganda talaga yung, I, I grew up also in, in an environment na yung paligid mo, parang everyday you hear music. Yes. Well, meron akong mga kamag-anak na kapit, kapit bahay lang. Tapos nagpapatugtog sila ng mga spiral staircase, mm. papatugtog ng mga Doobie Brothers. Real uh, music. Mga ganun. Music with words, <coughs> hindi lang oh. yung tugs, tugs. Oo, oh, hindi lang ganun. Tapos mga iba pa, mga, mga, mga rock ano, uh, mm. music. Um, so yun yung parang siguro doon na mold din yung ano, mm-hmm. even yung, yung taste ko for music. And also wide range din, as, uh, parang kay Joey. Because when I transferred to Manila, when I was in high school. From La Union, you went to Manila, Manila, yes. Yung mga kamag-anak ko, kasi I, I lived with my uh, relatives, meron silang collection ng mga telefunken. Telefunken. <laughs> telefunken na mga, mga classical. And then meron mga Ray Conniff. Mga, kasi noon time na yun, Elevator yung, music. Oh, yung LP. He still performs ba? here. Meron mga LP, uh, long playing yes. uh, vinyl, and then mga 45. Mm-hmm. Ganun. Tapos yun yung pinatutugtog. And then... Uh, na dagdagan. Tapos nung, nag, <laughs> nung nag-choir ako, iba rin. Iba rin yung music na yun. Kasi, na time na yun, 70s, may mga bakarak, may mga... Yes. Yung, yung, yung vocal harmony, mga, mga music groups, talagang grabe rin. So, very, very wide yung ano. Tapos, well, but, I, I ano, uh, parang, mas nag-enjoy ako doon sa folk. Right. Uh, kasi nga, I don't know, siguro dahil, Pag folk music kasi it's it's so narrative, nagkukwento siya mm-hmm. and very uh, lyrical ang mga yeah. ang mga ang mga lyrics. So, mm-hmm. uh, kaya siguro na enjoy ko siya nang nang gusto. Oo. Parang doon ako, yun yung uh, parang Uh-oh. in-embrace ko na influence. Oh, nandiyan talaga. Uh-huh. That was your your passion when you're surrounded by your passion. And for you, Joey, gonna, well, ikaw, I don't know if you came from Bukid noon, 'di ba? Surrounded. Yung pinanganak pero laking kubaw. Ah, laking kubaw pa. Pero you said at the time the environment was actually very different. Sa kubaw, oh, may fireflies pa, Imagine. may kalabaw pa na naghihilan ng tubo. <laughs> so, there were still natural sound. Yan ang mga na-inspired sa music. Dai pang palaka, rai pang. Imagine ibang-iba na ngayon. Fly. Ngayon traffic, palaka ng yung bus. Uh, fireflies ngayon, yun eh. <laughs> Huh? Yun na yung mga motorcycle. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. Because you're very passionate about the environment, both of you. Both of you are activists, and a lot of your music talks about political issues and environment. You think <clears throat> both of you, you grew up close to very fresh, natural environments, and this comes out in your music. What do you think? Yeah, uh, I, I, I really uh, made love <laughs> with, uh, nat- nature. with nature. Mother nature, no, nothing uh, like mother nature. Si swimming sa ilog, mga no, limitas na mga prutas sa sa, dito. sa burol. Huwag <laughs> sa Maynila. Pero hindi sa, hindi sa Maynila. Ano, for siyempre, with that, with that kind of environment, you really value. Yes. Magkaroon ka ng ganong valuation respect, yeah. of, 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 of uh, the environment. <laughs> Tapos, uh, nung nag-college ako, doon ako na-politicized. And then, I really started writing my, my, own, my own songs na political hindi mm-hmm. hindi love songs mm-hmm. <laughs> kailan na ako nagsulat ng mga love songs and more uh, 
Uh, Pwede ba ako magtanong sa kanya? <laughs> Sige nga, please. Ikaw <laughs> okay. naman. Ba't ka nagsulat ng love song? <laughs> <laughs> eh, syempre, yun yung ano. On the spot na. Uh, Dalawa lang ang question. Parang I miss it. Parang uh, something that I, I, I've never tried. So, love so, for country was really burning inside you, oh, huh? Oh, kasi very... Uh, it was driving Yung involvement you. yes. before was... Uh, talaga namang anti-Marcos, Uh-oh. anti-dictatorship, and uh, fighting for for democracy, right. mga ganyan. And yung exposure ko din, performing in front of, of uh, uh, protesting uh, taxi drivers oh, or uh, workers, mga yeah. ganyan, no? mga picket lines. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun, talagang very, that's why uh, passionate ako sa, sa gano'n. But of course, syempre, nagmamature din tayo, no? Uh, even our feelings and emotions, we, we also mature. Yeah. You do? Yeah. <laughs> kaya, and then, uh, yeah. yun, uh, kaya nagsulat din ako na. Yeah. I think the first love song I wrote was when I was in college. You mean writing love songs in a of maturity? <laughs> <laughs> Ibang show na yan. Ibang show na yan. Oh. Uh, college, pero hindi ako nakalimutan ko na eh. I, kasi mm-hmm. noong time na yun, kung uso lang ang cellphone na na, pwede ka mag-record. Oh, oh record maraming challenges eh. noon. Uh, when you're both classified as indie artists, no? And it's yeah. very challenging to be indie artists mm-hmm. in this day and age. Ano mga struggles niyo? What would you say, Joey? Let's start with you. What did you say? Hindi ka kilala, <laughs> hindi ka binabayaran. Hindi ka binabayaran. Lahat ng indie. Lahat ng indie. Okay. Lahat ng indie. Okay. Okay. Hindi pwede. Para makapampangan, walang H. Hindi. <laughs> oh, diba? I'm a little more, uh, siguro, how you say it, uh, fortunate <laughs> or luckier. <laughs> Uh, because uh, I was able to cross over to the mainstream from, mm-hmm. from the indie because uh, yun nga lang. Uh, but for me I, I look at it na it was really a, a, a great uh, a big opportunity mm-hmm. kasi nung indie nga kami hindi ka pinakikinggan <laughs> <coughs> ngayon, Mahira, ngayon no? in demand na siya in demand uh, uh, at least there there are more avenues so what more. would you say because when you're indie let's say you're being true to your passion but you, when you go mainstream would you say that you have to sell yourself out a little bit because mainstream is it's more really commercial a, yeah, struggle talaga if you're mm-hmm. an indie because you don't have the luxury of, of uh, promoting your your stuff to ano, I mean, you know, to what the mainstream mm-hmm. artists have yeah Di parang, parang ganun. <laughs> Pero si Joey very creative yan eh. Very so, ano? Creative talaga. On how to sell himself. <laughs> Joey's a philosopher and uh, yes, I mean you of course we saw you on the TEDx talks just last November. Uh-huh. You had a Kondiman rendition of the Lupang mm. Hinirang and medyo controversial yan ano? Medyo. So you made it uh, what is it 6 meter ba yon kasi uh, love song siya six, no? Six, six, so what is your take I mean of going main I know you don't like categories. You mm. don't like just being folk ako or how do you mm. feel? About your about? genre, it's so been, you've, it's been with the mainstream. India, but you're with mainstream. So you work. You've also worked with a lot of artists now. How would you class, let's say, the music nowadays with before uh, changing? Well, people people still evolution. tend to mm-hmm. do what works. Mm-hmm. Siempre natural lang naman yun. Uh, I, I'm looking for things that have not been done that can work. Yes. Okay. There's really the big difference between the ano, between the the music producers from the mainstream and then the the artist himself mm-hmm. especially particularly with the indie kasi yung sa mainstream the producers they look at it from the an economic point of view eh. of course, perspective uh, that, mm. as for 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 artists yung artistic talaga mm-hmm. no? uh, and then uh, which is <clears throat> also parang may consideration ka na ito ba culturally sound mm-hmm. ito ba reflection ng what's uh, your environment or whatever. Culturally mm-hmm. sound. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Define culturally Buti sound. Buti kung ganun. Oh, hindi mo ganun lahat mag-isip. Okay. Hindi ganun okay. lahat mag-isip. Bakit hindi nga? When you say, because, hindi mag-isip because they just want to sell. They're thinking of well, selling not something. Not necessarily. But, Sometimes you don't consider it. Like when I started writing, I never considered culture. Yeah. Now yeah. I do. Right. Now so, that you've but been it, exposed. It, it, well, let's siguro sabi natin parang uh, yung because of your passion. No? Yung, yeah. yung surge mm. na, na. Habang yeah. lumalawak yung interest siguro. Oh, oh. Nagiging mas all-encompassing bagay yung yeah. kinoconsider mo. Nagmamature. Well, when you mature. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. Oh, so mature. how would you um, look at OPM music, evolution of OPM music from your time, you're saying, you know, back, back your in... Your time muna. Your time. your time. Sorry, okay. Both of your time. Sige na, bahala na kayo sa age. Ano niya? Uh, continuing evolution <coughs> towards, ano eh, towards parang, parang power <coughs> of Babel yan eh. Mm. People are aiming for a global. People mm. are aiming for something universal, which is what pop is. The mm. more universal, mm. the mm. more acceptable, the more economically mm. rewarding. 
So everybody's moving in that direction. Most yeah. people are moving in that direction. Mm. Yeah. And it's been like that ever since naman. Kung ano yung uso, dami sumusunod. It's true. Yeah. Oh, so, this is the so, cycle. Wala na ba pinagbago. Ang nagbago yung pace. Ang bilis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ang bilis. Pag may bagong uso, ba 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 ba. Diyan na kaagad. So pabilis na yung pabilis. Oh, bilis. Tsaka yung ano rin, you, you provided, uh, yung digital uh, right. uh, technology, technology now. provided mm -hmm. uh, a venue wherein the market, no? <laughs> yung, yung tao has a lot of choices. Yeah. So, yeah. mas mahirap mo ngayon i-push yung, yung kanta mo. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi ang dami-daming choices. Kaya ang challenge na, mas mahirap ang challenge ngayon eh. How to create really a, a good and uh, parang distinct, distinct. Na, na music yeah. na, na talagang uh, even that particular song, kikita siya, bebenta siya sa, ano no, sa... Right. Uh, but there's supposed to be a template or some kind of formula. Apparently, they found the t formula, right, for this kind there's of music this, that catches on. Yeah, there's this pop and... Uh, That's for pop. Nagbabago yes. kasi yung taste, eh, especially oh, no. with the technology and uh, with, the, <clears throat> with the different generations. Mm -hmm. Parang nagbabago yung taste. Eh. So, um, ngayon, I don't know, there's more of, of the uh, music with uh, incorporating uh, the new technology. Yes. Um, mga loops. Mga loops, etc. Oh, right. Dami. There's so much you can <coughs> do. Eh, kami, old school. Eh. Pag old mm. school kami. But uh, ako, uh, I really, I, I'm, I'm for the old school. Purists. There's nothing <laughs> the like that. Well, speaking of technology, you brought it up. What do you think of social media? I think social media helps to spread your music. Oh, yeah. So how do you, do you feel it's helped you get it, your music out more? It helps you get your music out. At the same time, it cuts off your income stream. It's much because cheaper, it, once you yes. once you can email something you've done, yes. you you surrender it to the world, yeah. and people who like what you did will share it. So you have no problem with people downloading your music for free. Walang 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 Eh, kita mo maraming hits, di ba? Right. So at least now you can uh, have an indicator. Yeah, mm. you can measure now mm -hmm. how many people are really listening to your music. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you have a pay Facebook, ano rin? Uh, Maramay rin nagsasabi nagla-like. Right. Comments. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Your friend, Joey will talk about that later. Ito, uh, so parang French tayo, di ba? <coughs> Oh, unlike before. <laughs> Sa TV lang. <laughs> unlike before, hindi mo, hindi mo alam eh. That's true, yeah. Na hang, uh, ano yung gaano kalalim yung penetration mm -hmm. ko sa market. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it, it is a good indicator. So, you're actually uh, working more now with social media, you think? With, with yeah, I, I think it has to be. It is imperative. We eh, have to go yeah. with the times, no? Otherwise, we hear up eh. Yeah. Parang, uh, parang yung... Ang, yung yung ana, minsan may ginagamit ako na analogy na from the mainstream, na from the in, yung indie to the mainstream which is mm -hmm. ang parang ginagamit ko na sa both bodies of water and uh, yung yung indie kasi would be the the alternative uh, mm -hmm. the tributaries no <clears throat> tapos the mainstream is the larger body of water mm -hmm. when you're in the, the the tributary there's this tendency for you to get stuck there uh -huh. and, Yes. Uh, at least dun sa, ano, sa mainstream kasi, you really have to go to the mainstream because it has a larger, so it's a larger water. body of water, mas maraming tao. And then right. it can bring you to the river, right. and to the sea, and wow, to the Wow, very deep. Parang ganun. Well, baka may, may mga songs ka na, yeah, that's, that's yeah, right. Sa, sa tributary kasi, mm -hmm. mabagal siya. No? It's, it's really that's a struggle true. there. Yeah, so, it's a challenge. This is uh, like life. Lalo na kung polluted pa yung ano. <laughs> we'll get into more marami pang philosophies from Noel and Joey. We just need to take a quick break. And we will be listening to you play later. Mag jajaming tayo, di ba? We have a lot to discuss with our guests. News Cafe will return after <coughs> these reminders. Ang tubig ay 
sa apoy Ang lupa ay sa langit Ang araw ay sa gabi At ang lamig naman ay sa init Kapag nawala ang isa ang isa ay Hindi mababatid Ang malakas at ang mahin ay magkapatid Okay, Michi! Magkabila watching News Cafe on the Solar News Channel. So we're still with our guests, some of the best musicians in the Philippines, Noel Cabango and Joey Ayala. Ano pa lang song na yun? Tell us a little bit. So obviously this shows us again some of the, your passions no, for your songs. Um, let's talk about your influences and the topics that you actually write about sa songs nyo. So you, you do a lot of social activism, no? Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> you know, it's just so ingrained that you don't even think about oh, it. Oh, ano ba yun? Saan nag-start? I mean, for you, Noel, when, when did seniority. you start using... Oh, sige na nga si Joey, seniority, sir. Seniority, seniority. <laughs> let's Minority. start with Joey. Since you speak peace. Your shirt oh, says yeah, you speak, speak peace. Me. So you will speak peace now and tell us how you began your peace talks. My peace no. talks. <laughs> what actually moved you to write about certain issues? Actually, ang exper experience ko with theater. Because... Hmm. Uh, Nung napaso ako sa theater group, I realized that I was no longer just singing to myself or to my intimate circle. May mas marami pa palang taong maaring makinig. Mm. So I started writing things na para sa mas marami. Kasi nung mga una kong kanta, puro sarili lang eh. Mm -hmm. uh, puro English, puro world weary, <coughs> saka imaginary. World weary. Ah, oh, yung mga angst. Oh, 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 diba? When you're pagbata pa, school, pa oh, mga oh, angst, yung mga problema, oh, oh, heartbreak. Yeah. Oh. So, after that, nung pasok ako sa theater group, may mga tao pala dyan. Awareness na, oh, of so others. My, my song started becoming more outward, mm. more... Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> Was it the same for you, Noel? I mean, how, uh, how did it ako start ay, for you? Ako ay, ano, uh, na, mula dun sa... Uh, I was very much involved politically nung uh, uh, 80s, no? Mm -hmm. uh, during the last years of, uh, of Marcus martial dictatorship, law. martial law. So, <clears throat> dun ako... Uh, siguro doon na mold yung isip ko at saka yung uh, yung paniniwala ko that's the reason why most of my songs ay merong relevance mm -hmm. uh, syempre merong <laughs> background music uh, sentimental we, we have this this uh, parang uh, I already embraced that uh, parang we have to build a better future no? mm. parang ganon may, may pagka Ooh. cliche no? <laughs> Uh, that, It's good to be uh, that, idealistic that, that cliche, also. You know? So, mm. pero yun nga, uh, I also found out na discovered that music can really uh, play a big role uh, mm -hmm. in 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 uh, nation bringing, building, uh, yeah, or... yung awareness lang, right. even awareness lang mo na, and then mm -hmm. encouraging people to do something. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yun kaya ako na naging uh, parang uh, most of my compositions are socially relevant. Yeah. May merong ganon. May of course, <laughs> you were present at the inauguration of Pinoy. You, you really supported him. Yes, uh, was at the right place at the right time. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you ganon. also said that it's not just up to the president. For you, you yeah. mga nagboto rin, no? Importante yes. na they play their role. Citizens yeah. also have a role to play. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, that was really, a, uh, how I say it, parang... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was... Uh, very special a, moment. A very special, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say it, say it. Uh, <laughs> de, de. Part of your parang ano, uh, CB mo. Uh, it's an opportunity to bring change. Yes, yeah, right. Say, change making. Uh, I I never thought that I'm really going, I was going to sing three songs. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, my my participation was. Merong kasing uh, kanta na ginawa namin ni Ogi, and then uh, parang various artists yeah. And mm -hmm. then, but I performed during the informal mm -hmm. because there were two there were two uh, programs, the yeah. informal and the formal programs. So, andun ako nag-perform uh, sa informal. And then, uh, when they realized that during the formal uh, program, na-realize sila na masyadong mabilis yung pacing because uh, dapat ang swearing-in pala ng ano, of taking the president it has to be at noon time, exactly mm. at 12 noon. So, ang haba, so may mga gaps na kailangan stretch, stretch. I -fill, fill up. Mm. So, Kuman pinakanta ako. So, mm -hmm. ako naman, I, was, I took the opportunity, no? <laughs> so, I sang, they, they asked me to sing three songs, and I said, bakit tatlo? <laughs> Kasi ang dami-daming artists, no? Nakahaya right. naman, ano, ganun. So, I was already there. They said, three songs, okay, sige. 
Yeah, and then and I read you wrote that your audiences are people you were trying to influence before. And they were, there they were, they were your audience, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, the time that I said it was also uh, a uh, uh, timely that I have to sing Ako Isang Mabuting Pilipino. Mm. Tapos, uh, ando dun yung ibang mga uh, past presidents and then uh, all of the, the government officials. And then mm. I was able to make them swear. Ayun, be, on the spot. Uh, to be... Uh, <coughs> better <laughs> mga good citizens di ba yeah. so sumpa sila actually parang na uh, pamaray heard parang pinapatigil yata kasi parang <laughs> bawal to ano nung pana ano nung pana presidente ano nung pana dapat hindi kaya lang kasi oh, during the campaign before that ginagawa kasi talaga namin yan nung sumasama ko doon sa sorti ni uh, Pinoy <coughs> uh, ginagawa namin yan sa campaign mm-hmm. ginagawa namin yung mga tao mm-hmm. involve the people So kaya nung siguro nung nung kinita ko yon tumayo na siya parang automatic ni good cue <laughs> uh, good cue oh, perfect <laughs> so di ba parang hindi ka na pwedeng uh, hindi tumayo kasi yung presidente tumayo na <laughs> oh siya na next yeah. oh. so yon kaya it was really uh, ano you know, Well, how do you think your music translates to the masses? I mean, some of this, of course, there's a very important message you also wanted to get to the masses for each of your um, music How would you say it has touched the impact? The How does well, it ngayon, like for example, ngayon sa, sa social media, they they uh, send you uh, messages and comments that uh, <clears throat> they aside from liking your songs, uh, hmm. parang uh, they were made aware of the, the environment, what's happening, ganyan, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, they're in. Uh, parang inspired they get inspired mm-hmm. so kaya lang siyempre hindi i i i have uh, no uh, <clears throat> uh, mechanism on how to measure kung gaano talaga yung impact right. sa kanila well a lot of i remember your song tatsulok <laughs> sinasabi mo you joke around that it's you you covered bamboo but actually <laughs> bamboo covered your song tatsulok yeah, yeah, yeah. Many, many of your songs are being um, redone today yeah. no actually mga kanta ni Joey Ayala gina-cover ko eh ayun nga Ikaw, Joey, how would you say? I mean, right, you are a philosopher, you know? I know I've talked to you earlier, and you're really... You, over the years, no, I think you've, you're, it's showing in your music. We'll see his philosophy. Yeah. You, you're very much a passion. Uh, you're passionate about uh, social development and cultural um, Actually, development. Actually, I'm passionate about ideas. Okay. May macho ako eh, machoria. <laughs> machoria. Hili ako magbasa, may hili ako mag-analyze ng ideas. Mm-hmm. I like to, if I see a good idea, I try to sneak it into local culture. Mm-hmm. Well, you were also with the National Commission on Cultural and the Arts while, for six uh, years, no? Yeah. What changes did you see in terms of, well, during your term? Well, I didn't see any major changes, but I got to see some of my ideas in action. Which is, for example, maybe you can give us example, we were able to get the rapper and the rapper. That's always uh, a good idea. We were able to get the Kalinga Master and the Magindanao Master to get on mm-hmm. one stage. Uh, gumawa kami ng concert na nandun yung virtuoso na may edad, andun yung mga tinuturuan niya, tapos ipakita sa mga tao. So, wow. mga ganun klaseng ideas. Oh, and you hold workshops, right? You're still I hold trying workshops. To... So. Tell us a little uh, well, about these workshops. Ginagamit kong term sa workshops, <laughs> Sining Bayan. Sining Bayan. The art of nation building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, para sa lahat to? Or is there aspiring Anybody, musicians? Oh, uh, pra, siguro, ang pinakamaraming na workshop namin so far is mga taga DepEd. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So, so we, we, we share some simple mental technologies, no? how, how to articulate complex ideas without the traps of grammar, for example. Right. Kasi right. tanongin mo ang tao, anong gusto mo sa buhay mo? Ah. <laughs> Kasi it's a complex <laughs> thing. It's Hindi niya masabi. So anong sasabihin niya? Ah, basta makakain na kung tatlong beses sa isang araw. Mm-hmm. So the, the means of communication limits the thought. But if yeah. you're able to provide people with something that Mm-hmm. is you know a very accommodating of complexity then mm-hmm. lalabas talaga yung tunay niyang gusto <clears throat> yeah that's once na articulate nga nagiging goal siya nagiging objective nagiging operation right. siya nagiging yeah. totoo education is really important we need a lot of change Actually, in this country ano yun, but... eh, uh, hindi karamihan ng tao akala niya nag dahil pumapasok siya na eskwelahan akala niya na educate mm-hmm. siya yeah. hindi yan totoo yun. yun education is training just... yun Training yeah. is something from the outside putting inside. Mm-hmm. Education is something from the inside coming out. Mm-hmm. There's a difference. Mm-hmm. So we are training people to be employees. We are using public money to train people to work in foreign corporations, which is really stupid. Mm-hmm. We should be educating people, bringing people 
<clears throat> letting people speak their minds, so uh, giving them to tools with which to express complexity. Critical thinking, yes. basically, you're that's you partly want it because critical thinking is last pag right, nayan eh. Right. Yeah, Ngayon pag sinabi mo na mambatikos ka critical thinker ka na hindi rin totoo yun eh. <laughs> Mang asar ka lang critical oh, thinker hindi, ka oh, hindi rin totoo yun. Askador yan. <laughs> hindi. Oh, oh. So this is what media, especially in this day and age, we have so many problems with the government. Mm -hmm. We want the Filipinos to think for themselves. And that's yes. what your music does. Yes, this is yes. what you're trying to do. With you, Noel, you were also part, you were at the, you, you're part of a global call to action for poverty. You also spoke in Brazil recently, performed in yeah, Brazil performed in, in 2002. Brazil. Actually, it's a, a big uh, gathering of social movements. Yes. And uh, we basically talk about different things there. It's, it's uh, mm -hmm. like a market of of different ideas but these are all progressive ideas mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. how do we uh, how do we uh, move forward given that there's globalization mm. ganyan, and then of course we talk about climate change uh, and then we talk about foreign debt and how it affects the third world or the right. south countries and marami, maraming mga bagay -bagay. of course iba ibang mga advocacies mm -hmm. ng iba't ibang mga right. organizations but i was there as a uh, part of this organization called Freedom From Debt Coalition, mm. which is also very uh, uh, complex din yung, yung, ano, no, yung advocate namin. Aside from the main advocacy is uh, about how to <clears throat> reduce, if not uh, uh, repudiate, our foreign debts, mm. especially yes. particularly foreign debts that we incurred uh, that, are, that were not beneficial to right. the, For third world the countries. people. Yes, like so us. maraming mga ganun. Mm. So, yun yung mga, mga kaya I was, I was in Brazil, yeah. when there's a World Social Forum. You think we can hear <coughs> one of the songs you performed there? <laughs> any, or any other song from both of you? I mean, definitely you'd like to hear. Now or later? Later. <laughs> later na lang. Nagulat ako. You're also an ambassador for Harry Bond. I mean, yes, both of you are yes. so active in environmental yeah. advocacies. Before mm -hmm. I even uh, be, became a... a, 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 a Mainstream musician. No, no, the, the, <laughs> a, a strong you know, advocate ah. for, for, for the environment, yes. Joey Ayala. I think Joey was there, was, you yeah, set the scene. There. Uh, actually, bago pa kami, Asin is already there. Mm, si Asin, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, na sila ng kanta. And uh, I think uh, it is a very pressing you know, no, uh, 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 problem that we really have to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. Particularly, uh, especially now that we, we experience the impact of of climate change. Right. So, yeah. kaya, kaya kami, tuloy-tuloy lang yung, mm -hmm. yung advocacy. Kaya lang, syempre, it, it's up to the people to, to make right. their, their own decision. And, uh, I want to quote one of your, in your song, Ako ay isang mabuting Pilipino, or sorry, the song, Ejemplo, you had a line there that said, tumatawid ako sa tamang tawiran, sumasakay ako sa tamang sakay. sakay. Yes. Tama ba yan? Tama, tama. Pwede ba kantahin nyo? Makahanap oh, yun, na ba yan? Yun na lang. Pwede, pwede. Because those are the <laughs> words we need to hear now, no? as Filipinos. This is exactly the kind of path that we're taking. Can I take it? Okay. Ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Minamahal ko ang bayan ko Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin Sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin Matawid ako sa tamang tawiran Sumasakay ako sa tamang sakayan Pumipila at di nakikipagunahan At di ako pasiga-siga sa lansangan Pagkat ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Minamahal ko ang bayan ko Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin Sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin There's nothing to wear 
Nobody knows how we got to the top of the hill And since we're on our way down We might as well enjoy the ride The secret of love is in opening up your heart It's okay to feel afraid Don't let it stand in your way, no, no Everyone knows that love is the only road Since we're on our way down We might as well show some style Give us a smile now, isn't it a lovely ride? Oh, sliding down and gliding down, try not to try too hard, it's just a lovely ride. And what a lovely ride we're having here with Joey Ayala and Noel Cabang when you're still watching News Cafe on the Solar News <laughs> Channel. Of course, the secret of life. By James secret Taylor. What life. is the secret of life for you guys? <laughs> ano Enjoying the passage of time, I think. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. Ikaw, Joey, alam ko you philosophize uh, about that. Uh, what is the secret of life for you? Know that it is infinite, <laughs> but you are finite and you know, you insert yourself in there. And live it to the fullest. Huh? To the fullest. That's, that's really a good uh, wisdom of word. From, uh, yeah. There's a lot of wisdom no, from these mga Filipinos. We're such musical people, pa naman, yes, no? Yes. The Filipino. So let's talk about some of the issues now that you're trying to also express in your songs. No, right now, <clears throat> of course, the pork barrel issue. Yeah. No, the pedaf. There's so much going. On. Of course, we had our recent um, calamities with Yolanda. Mm. What do you think the country needs to do, or where are we at right now with this country? Seniority, let. Para tip natin tinapa na si Sir Joey. Yes. Redefine. Kailangan ng redefinition. Kailangan ng new experience of the self. Mm -hmm. Kailangan ng question basic foundations. <clears throat> and I think, kulang sa self understanding. Why? What, what, what eh, kasi, puro tayo foreign mold. Eh. Foreign lagi yung tinitig na natin. Saka masyado tayong authority oriented. We're always waiting for something correct mm -hmm. to follow. Right. So, yung sariling paninindigan medyo. So, wala tayong initiative. Kulang sa exercise. Yung mm -hmm. pangalan na lang ng bayan. Eh. We're still following. What Magellan said, or whatever, who, who gave the name. No? Mm. So we have this colonial baggage. Oh, right baga, eh. as kung, kung sa therapy pa, ang daming therapy ang kailangan gawin. Cultural therapy. And that's what you do. You say you do cultural therapy. Oh, and I realized, yeah. ano yung effect ng mga kanta ko? Because I, I am a cultural therapist. Yeah. Uh, the rapist. Wag, wag mo lang hiwala yung da, tsaka yung rapist. <laughs> cultural the rapist, the rapist yun eh. <laughs> cultural therapy. That's very dangerous. Cultural uh, therapist, uh, right. So, the, what do you think it will take then to really change? I mean, if you're saying culture, how can we change our culture? Uh, do, oh, doing new things, yeah. experiencing new mm -hmm. things. Kasi kung puro luma ang ginagawa mo, yung so-called holy cows of tradition, pag hindi mo yan kayang baguhin, wala, you're doomed to just mm -hmm. keep on. You know, but I think we, we need also drastic in, uh, uh, actions. And like what's happening right now is we need a lot more of these purging mm. things. Kasi, Yung, uh, mga, yung that culture of corruption is yeah. just so uh, ingrained, ingrained no? and you cannot really change that in mm -hmm. six years with, mm -hmm. the, with the new administration. One term, yeah. That's one, uh, I think it's uh, mm -hmm. for several decades already that's been there. Yung sistema mismo. Yeah, it's a system. Yeah. We are really have to to revolutionize, siguro. Uh, Pag sinabi system. mong may bad apples, baka may bad tree. Mm. Yeah. Like bad roots, yeah. So, oh, wow. yun ang na natin. Because <coughs> worldwide naman may corruption. Right, right. That's it, true. It's human it's nature everywhere. disguised in authority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, actually, the less authority, I think kaya decentralization is kind of healthy. Ako nga, dapat siguro massive, ano siguro, uh, resignation, especially of the old, <laughs> those who were re really there, yung mga matatanda na sa gobyerno. Change them with the new ones, the new young ones. Matrapo. Because uh, the reason why the uh, perpetuation of, of corruption is because they're there. Right. They they live with that kind of system unless you really change them. Okay, mm -hmm. lang mahirap gawin kasi they're covered with a with a immunity. 
no the, the civil service uh, tenure uh, tenure mm. ganyan and the, and the, right. all this uh, kaya lang sa kanila naman nanggagaling no uh, mm -hmm. yung 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 uh, that that corruption right. uh, so schools even, ganun din oh, you cannot you cannot hire yeah. bad teachers mm. Hindi mo talaga. Yeah. Unless there's, kaya nga, I, I think for, for this country to really change the system is you need the revolution. So what kind of revolution? <laughs> this is the revolution of song, maybe, one of them. Yeah, we can This is what you try to uh, do with your music. <laughs> That's what music can in do. In your way, And yes. uh, we can, uh, maybe music or the arts in particular can be a catalyst, no? Mm -hmm. To, and Joey Yala's music yeah. can be a catalyst to, to, uh, to open uh, the minds of, uh, especially the young people, right? Um, although there are re revolutions happen with the with the young people, not, mm -hmm. not with the, the old. Well, they the say we have to turn to the the, young, the youth or the future, <clears throat> right? Yeah. But the youth also have to be trained. What do you think of the generation now? Because now everything is at basically you can get it an instant. We were talking about this with Joey earlier: the instant gratification culture, the selfie generation. Mm -hmm. How are they appreciating your music? Do you think? And how can we change this kind of um, entitlement, feeling of entitlement, Joey. Just, just, para sa akin, I just put it out there. Kasi, di mo naman mapipilit, di ba? You can lead the horse yeah. to water, pero di uh -huh. mo. Uh -huh. some, some young kids, I have, I have fans in elementary, I have fans in high school. So, iba iba. No? There are good and bad, of course, effects of, of the, the social media. You can be detached to the social reality, mm -hmm. but you can also be uh, virtually connected. No? Mm -hmm. But, how far can we also change the system or the government by being virtual in, in, mm -hmm. in that virtual world? Uh, kasi yung mga na, kaya naman napalitan yung nagkaroon tayo ng EDSA revolution because that's, uh, it happened in, 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 uh, uh, mm -hmm. in reality. Molecular. Yes. Oh, it's, it's, Molecular it's, not, it's not the virtual thing. Right. But of course, uh, we can also look at what happened in Egypt but because of the social media, the, the people, the it ignited uh, a, a revolution yes. it, and, and uh, it uh, uh, kicked out the dictator. Citizen people oh, power, uh, and, online, uh, I mean. Also, also with the, the, the pork barrel thing, because of the uh, social media, we were able to draw the interest of the, the Filipino people to, to stand up and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, fight for the removal of, of PIDA, yeah. of pork barrel. Yeah. So, yung mga ganun, may mga, mga gandang effects yan. But of course, syempre, uh, there's also this tendency of you being being selfish. No? Yes. Selfie nga. No? Uh, uh -oh. Isolated. Uh, isolated right. You want, just want. And um, uh, ang isa ding maganda, maybe probably you can look at it good or bad, yung people are now very opinionated. Mm -hmm. And makikita mo yun sa, sa, sa mga comments, reactions sa social media, which is good. No? You, you, you voice out voice. your opinion. Mm. Kaya lang, Minsan may mga bago, sinulat mo na bago inisip. Right. <laughs> mga ganun. Really so, but you have to think first kung ano yung siguro. Napindot na yung siya. Okay, napindot mo na yung siya. Oops! Uy! I'm sorry I said that. They act before <laughs> they ganun, think. Parang ganun. Yeah, no? yeah. Uh, which is, ayun, kaya lang makikita mo rin talaga na, na yung, well, oh. this, this, uh, the both yeah. sides of, uh, of well, if we might look at a case study in the past, <clears throat> Noel, you did three albums no, that you kind of dedicated to some advocacies. One on the plight of the uh, peasant farmers yes, and the protection yes. of human mm -hmm. rights With and also club, conservation yeah. of envi yeah. the environment. For those albums, do you think that there was actually an effect? Did you obtain, uh, you know, get I, your objective? I think so. I think so. We were yeah. able to, because we toured, the, the, especially the, the second album, we toured it uh, nationally mm -hmm. together with the scene. At the time, uh, uh, we were uh, advocating the uh, human rights, right. uh, upholding human rights, and at the same time, uh, ending milita militarization in the countryside. Uh, I think uh, uh, we were able to raise to, awareness. Yeah, raise that. awareness. Uh, also, with the with the, the the first album with the with the Filipino peasants. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we're, the, these songs are, are, are you know, uh, they're there to, to uh, provide inspiration. Also. Right. Uh, to, that it, it would, should encourage, that probably would encourage people to do some action. Mm -hmm. And mukha namang meron sigurong pinuntahan. Hindi ko rin kasi matansya. That's just nice to see the power but, of music but, also. Yeah, but no? for us, for me, because I, I believe in, in the power of music, I continue that kind mm -hmm. of, you know, uh, in, in, 
writing songs and creating so that I'd be able to touch more lives and uh, maybe post some uh, questions sa isip na mga yeah, The point is we have to keep asking yeah. questions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For you, Joe, you, your band, Bagong Lumad, same thing, no? You also ha were writing songs about certain advocacies and now on your own, what are some of these pressing questions that you still ask yourself or ask the world? <laughs> questions are more important than answers. So yeah. actually, mm -hmm. when you, you create a song that makes people question, mm -hmm. champion yun. Mm -hmm. Champion yun. Mm -hmm. Could you or give us... invert, yeah. invert things. Right, right. Invert things. Like, kunyari sa Mindanao, may bukang bibig dyan ng bahala nagsaging, basta labing. Ibig sabihin, it doesn't matter if bananas are all we have to eat as long as we love each other. Right. That right. sounds good. Pero if you invert it, you'll realize na poverty consciousness pala yun. Mm -hmm. Kasi maraming saging na binababa mo yung halaga. Mm -hmm. yeah. So kung balik ta rin mo, which I tried, uh, basta may saging, loving. <laughs> oh, di ba? You can see the difference of the idea. That's so, true, yeah. So pag ganyan yung uh, laman ng mga kanta, you can actually open windows yeah. in your audience's mind. Oo nga, no? Mm -hmm. Maybe the, some, oh, yes. the only challenge is that for yung mga kanta talaga namin, or particularly my Joey's, no, uh, talagang kailangan pakinggan mo eh. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, although, syempre, ang dami-dami kasi talagang mga kanta dyan. Dami, kanta dami. dyan eh, na sino yung ubs mo, una yung pakikinggan mo. Yeah. Unless you are really a big fan of Joey Ayala and uh, sinusundan mo siya, you'll be able to really... Um, uh, analyze kung ano mga, right. mga sinusulat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember, Joey, you won in, uh, what year was that? Uh, you're very much known for the Bat uh, Batang West Side soundtrack, uh, no? The, you yeah. won the Orian Awards for that. At the time, I think this is something Pinoy's could really relate to because everybody wanted to go to the States. Mm -hmm. what, what what inspired you then? Of course, it was an epic film, no? Well, so, no? ano laman yun eh, uh, project. Right, Wow, right. sige, gawin natin. Uh -oh. <laughs> so let's talk about yeah, yeah. projects. Oh, ano, for you, is there a when it's your own passion and then this thing is put upon you? Uh, oh, iba rin eh, exercise of craft. Hmm. So, hmm. kailangan mo na upuan, hindi gawa ko upuan. Oo. Uh -oh. Anong gusto mo, weird na upuan? O, yung mukhang pareho lang sa iba. Yung gusto mo yung pareho sa iba, sa iba mo na ipagawa. So Kasi weird is... lang alam kong gawin eh. <laughs> so sometimes you have to work with certain frameworks. Oh, uh, always oh. naman eh. Uh, hmm. if, if you're given something unlimited, you wouldn't know what to do. Oh, yeah. On a very different note, I was talking to Joey earlier. He also has an idea, but quite a different perspective. I no? think I <laughs> Come on, share with us. <laughs> it's going to be a different mode. But you also have a plan. You have something. Pero Are you willing plan. to share that? <laughs> you said that ang kailangan kasi sa mga Pilipino ay papahiya sila. So you have ah. a song, you will leave it blank. Ah, so you oh. have a song where you will leave the blank and just fill oh, in the name of the person. Kasi inisip ko, ano ang parusa sa taong nagnakaw sa kaban ng bayan? Mm. Anong wastong parusa? Unang pumasok sa isip ko actually, isang plexiglass na booth sa gitna ng luneta. Tapos nandun siya sa loob. Tapos lahat ng asar, pwedeng... You can't, you can't hurt shame. them uh, right. physically, but right. psychologically, nandiyan. Tapos right. naisip ko, what if, kung ako magnanakaw, tapos masa taas position ako, anong ayokong mangyari? I don't want to go down in history as right. a thief. So, right. My contribution is just an idea pa lang naman siya. It's a template song. May mga blank spaces. Kung saan mo inalagay yung pangalan ng mga... Or, That's actually yung pag-ipapahiya yung mga tao. Pero yung concept na yun, kasi songs will live forever. Eh. That's yeah. true. So, ma ma mahuwes ka man o hindi, maligal ka man o hindi, pag may gumawa ng kanta, nandiyan ang pangalan mo na magnanakaw ka. You don't want to be remembered that way. Lahat ng descendants mo magpapalit ng pangalan. You can actually kill a person not just in one lifetime. That's right, your descendants, huh? Descendants. Pwede mo sabihin, ayoko maging ganyan ang apelyedo ko. O kunwari, may budget tayo ngayon to do a song about the current situation. Yan na, yan na. May 10 billion pesos. Film, video, lahat na. Let's see, let's pick a topic maybe. Right now, what are the pertinent issues? Of course, let's look at three. There's pork barrel. Ano ba ngayon? You'll land it. They're seeing the bunkhouses, subpar quality, no? Yung rehabilitation czar natin, si Ping Lacson. It's on, you know, the trail of the Yolanda rehab efforts. Pwede ba yung nagawa na? <laughs> na hindi ba naririnig? Alin, alin. O sige, yun na lang. Sige. You're, you're working on something, right? Yeah, I wrote a song. Uh, okay. It's supposed to be for uh, the rebuilding, no? to draw more support, more aid for, uh, 
for uh, the Yolanda ano, rehabilitation. I wrote it in English and uh, far shot, suntok sa buwan. I was uh, toying on the idea that uh, James Taylor would sing it. No, <laughs> well, you know, you might just see this oh, yeah. online yeah. or on the app. We have a you solar system. You mean thing is second choice. Lang. <laughs> Do we have a title yeah. for the, the song? The title yet? is, uh, I wrote it, a title called After the Deluge. After the Deluge. Yeah, so, okay. uh, in English. In Tagalog. <laughs> seldom, no seldom okay. that I, you know. Universal, right? universal. Uh, okay, so you know James Global Taylor yung one eh. James ah, Taylor. Kasi ang peg. Ang peg. <laughs> so, English muna. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen what happened after the deluge? Have you seen what's left after the storm? Thousands of lives have perished, thousands of dreams shattered, thousands of young Crying out for hope Let us extend the helping hand To our brothers, sisters and friends Help them rise from pain Build our hopes again Let the new dawn start breaking in our hands. Look it up. Take it back. Point it back. Have you seen the young child in the middle of dairy? Have you seen that woman with no seems nowhere to go? Rains have become much stronger The winds have become more cruel Now we need to be one and prepare for the days to come Lift the spirit of those who have gone, those missing Carry the cross of those who were saved and living. For tomorrow, rain will be cast over the land. Let us extend a helping hand to our brothers, sisters, and friends. Help them from pain build the hopes again let the new dawn start breaking in our hands come and extend a helping hand to our brothers sisters and friends help them rise build Start breaking, keep the spirit of giving. But then you don't start breaking in our hands. Beautiful, very nice message to start the year with. Really nice song. <laughs> Well, I'd like to each both of you, uh, I mean, we never have enough time, no, with both of you. So you will each have your final words before we go, your words for 2014. But I'd like to remind everybody watching, if you want more of Joey Ayala and Noel Cabangon, you can see them at Conspiracy. So this month, no? Unfortunately, this month. we know you've been going there every Wednesday for you, Noel. But every other Wednesday. You'll be there on the 22nd. So yeah, we still have the 22nd. Second. Still have one more. And for, so Conspiracy is just in Quezon City. You can look it up. And for Joey, you're there sa 17th and 31st. And 31st. No. So we can, what, what time is that? Usually around 10 ng gabi, nagsisimula na. Okay. Matatapos yan, mapag-pass out ng later. <laughs> 
So jamming tayo dyan. Oo nga. So that's till sawa. No? Till sawa. That's right. So, Noel, for 2014, what are we looking at? Music for yourself, for the country, your hopes? And uh, well, uh, for me, for, for OPM, it's really a very challenging you know, no, uh, time. Uh, how can we really, it's not to compete, but uh, instill no, sa, mga, sa mga tao, Filipinos, that they really have to support uh, our local music. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, uh, I wish that uh, you know more people will really support OPM, mm -hmm. and uh, probably there's also maybe siguro kailangan din natin redefine mm -hmm. what, what what OPM is para malino yes. din sa atin ko ano. Yes, klaro yun oh. yun. It's a good one, Joey. OPM original parang merkano. Ano ba? Yan na pala yun, no? That's what's happening. That's the revolution of OPM. Kasi kahit sa tribo, kunyari, yung agong, yung gong na malaki, ang ganda nito. Original yan. US yan. It's, it's become like a term. Yeah, yeah. Like, original yan. US yan. Colonial mentality Colonial talaga. Colonial mentality, yeah. Oh, ano, Joy, 2014. What are you looking forward to? What I'm going to write looking? five or six albums, two or three books. All right. We'll see you in the movies. Delusions of grandeur. That's what I have in two. Who knows? You just never know. You're inspired, di ba? Well, keep on, keep philosophizing, keep asking questions. Pamimigay lahat yan kasi libre yan eh. Oh, yan, di ba? Pag nai-email mo ang trabaho mo, maghanap ka na na ibang trabaho. Yan. So we never have enough of Joey Noel. Or before we go, we're going to hear maybe one more jamming with you. But for now, we just have to say goodbye. So it's so unfortunate. Boys, so get ready to pray something. This is all the time we have for tonight. I'd like to thank my guests, Joey Ayala and Noel Cabangon, for being with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Join us again next Thursday for another round of discussion here on News Cafe. Sitting in for Jing Magsaysay, I'm Mitzi Borromeo. Good night. Karaniwang tao, anong magagawa upang batayan ng kalikasan? Pag ito kinanta mo sa refugee, pare, baka patuhin ka, di ba? Baka nalang i-handclick. Refugee. Karaniwang bagay ay di pansin Kapag naipon ay nagiging suliranin Konting basura ngayon'y pundok Kotseng gamok kayo mo sa bukpang labay, kumapatay sa ilog. May lasong galing sa industriya. Ibinubuga ng mga pabrika. Ngunit di lamang higante ang nagkakalat ng dumi. May kinalaman din ang tulad natin. Haraniwang tao saan Kapag nawasak di isang mundo, kananiwang tayo.